virtual reality finally becomes a, well, reality this year as the first wave of headsets come to market, which makes this year's Gamescom particularly special because we'll be getting our first look at the final hardware as well as the games that we'll be playing on them. We spoke to some of the industry's biggest experts to find out more about the current state of VR, starting with NVIDIA's very own Jason Paul. So at NVIDIA, our goal is to build the ultimate graphics platform for virtual reality. That involves three things. Building amazingly fast GPUs with our GeForce GTX processors. Building client software that optimizes your experience for VR with GeForce Experience and our developer SDK, helping developers to build great games and guys like HTC and Oculus to build great headsets with our GameWorks VR software development kit. In our latest GPUs, which we call our Maxwell architecture, uh, we've actually designed in uh, technology that allows us to accelerate rendering for VR. We call it multi-resolution shading, uh, and it allows game developers to render a scene at different resolutions for virtual reality thereby accelerate performance. So this year at Gamescom, we're really excited to be showing off uh, the two great headsets in virtual reality, uh, one from HTC Vive and one uh, Oculus Rift. Uh, we're showing some great content along with uh, these headsets. Uh, on the Oculus Rift, we're showing uh, Eve Valkyrie from CCP Games, uh, Air Mac VR, and Time Machine. Uh, and then on the HTC Vive, uh, we're showing a, a set of great content, uh, including a Valve's Aperture Science uh, demo. The uh, reaction from the fans is pretty incredible. Uh, I think the lines are upwards of four hours. People can't wait to get in there and test the latest from Oculus and HTC. HTC's Vive headset is a relative newcomer to the scene, but it's already making huge waves thanks to a partnership with PC gaming legends Valve and some truly incredible demonstrations of its capabilities. Here's Jeffrey Gattis from HTC to tell you more. The HTC Vive is our VR head-mounted display. Uh, we've developed it in conjunction with Valve and their Steam VR platform. What we think it is is the most immersive VR platform in the market. It's a PC-based system. Uh, you know, great precision tracking. We use laser base stations to drive very precision tracking, low latency. And from a feature standpoint, well, one of the things we think is most compelling is something we call room scale. So it's that ability not just to look around and look up and down in an environment, but to actually move around a room. We optimize around a 15 by 15 foot room. So when you add that extra element of being able to move around in the environment, it really just adds another dimension to the presence and really makes you feel as though you're immersed in an entirely new space. I think 2016's the year. It's finally here. Uh, obviously, we've committed to have our product in market before the end of this calendar year, so we'll get a little bit of a head start. But I think a couple things have happened. I think you have technology has gotten to a point now where we can support high frame rates, low latency, and really provide the kind of quality experience that people need in VR. I think you also have big companies now investing significant R&D, where you have you know, Sony, Oculus, HTC, and Valve. And I think that just gives tremendous credibility not only to developers that it's okay to go invest in developing your application, but to consumers that this is finally here. And some of us have been waiting for this stuff for over 20 years now, but the fact that you have these big companies making investments and commitments to put product in market tells me it's here, and I think it only goes up from there. CCP was one of the first studios to start work on a full VR game in the form of Eve Valkyrie, which is also playable here with the recently revealed retail version of the Oculus headset. CCP's Andrew Willens was on hand to talk about the challenges of creating a compelling VR gaming experience. Eve Valkyrie is uh, it's the ultimate space dogfighting simulator. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Top Gun in space. <laughs> we chose to make a more arcadey style of game purely to you know, support that immediacy of VR. The idea of just putting the headset on and you know, you've got a joypad, you know where you are and you know, you've got competency quite quickly. Um, and it's, it's different to something like obviously EVE Online where you know, there's a lot more strategy involved with that and this is just suits the hardware at this time. It's also, I mean, that's what we're going for really is like competitive multiplayer VR. I think it really delivers that sense of immersion and that sense of presence. And as a game designer, you know, you couldn't want for more. This is the dream we've been chasing for years is to really, really kind of sell the fantasy and the illusion of being somewhere completely alien in a game. And finally, it would be remiss of me to not try out the HTC Vive for myself. See you on the other side. Uh, a manta ray has just gone overhead.
<laughs> oh my word. This is true like 3D art. Now I'm creating a rainbow. <laughs> what can I say? It was just mind-blowing, like utterly captivating and totally transportative, if that's even a real word. I just felt like I'd been whisked away to this variety of worlds. One minute I'm underwater, the next minute I'm an amateur lad, the other minute I'm just in a, my own kind of art studio. But every single thing in there just looks incredible. You cannot believe the scale of it until you're in there yourself. And, and when you've tried it yourself, you won't mind looking ridiculous either. Um, obviously, we're at Gamescom. There's lots of lucky people here right now queuing up to have a go, um, which must be a nightmare for you watching at home. But honestly, this is lined up to be launched later this year. So soon you will be able to enjoy the very same experiences from the comfort of your own home. That's it for this video. We'll see you next time.